Today is the day of Tara Kanyita's exhibition and I'm really late and I have a very very interesting meeting later on today. I will show you guys and tell you guys how fruitful that is. I don't know if I'll be able to film the actual meeting, probably doubt it, but um, I'm very excited, very very excited. It's been a rough morning, like such a rough rough morning guys. Yo. Anyway, I'm waiting for my Uber, and I'm going to catch the train. Then I'm going to head over to Stevenson's gallery. It's a very pretty day, and I look very pretty, despite the bullshit that I went through this morning. Everybody takes a picture of. Um, with 
the theme of intimacy? Do you feel like you had enough intimacy from people you sought while you were doing this? Or were you isolated in any way because you had to commit and you know that was a challenge for you? <laughs> I mean, take it how you want to take it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had to isolate myself, but also I didn't do it. How do you feel about um, people isolating themselves? Um, do you think it's necessary? 100%. Mm. It's, it's good to see how people can only sometimes do that through isolation mm. and just be by yourself. But you also have to be by yourself and then maintain a balance. Go out into the balance. Yourself, mm. I've seen how with your previous work, you've always said that uh, you know, the hood is fine. Like, you know, like into the townships. People, general, normal, everyday people inspire you, and that's why you create the pieces that you create. Do you feel like you still embody that sort of inspiration coming into your exhibition? Um, I had to focus on the finishes and the quality of the paintings because I know that people, my people, ask for their paintings. So the only way I could impress my people is by making it exceptional. Um, what do you love most about society right now and what don't you what do you hate most about society right now? Uh, let's say uh, apps like Tinder. I uh, hate the most no one to swipe right to. <laughs> wow. Okay. Beautiful. Can I say you know what my favorite are? These two and the ones on the other side. With the with the with the records. You know what? I think that the position, the just the position of those two is perfect. Because I feel like it's like a coming of age. I literally feel like we're the same person. But this is like wild out. I even thought that was a skateboard at some point. And this little skater girl. And then she she comes back. What has been the wildest comment you've heard about this exhibition, good or bad, as long as it's wild or the best? This has been, thank you. Okay, gratitude, simple. It is what it is. Yeah. Any Anything that didn't sit right with you? Um, it's actually, it's, it feels I'm content with what Do you think everybody's interpreting it well? Have you had like a an interesting interpretation of your work or is it received the way you intended it for it to be received? It's pretty open ended and that's what I appreciate. Uh -huh. uh, it, it allows you to, like, for you to see that this is a coming of age. You know? Uh -huh. It's valid. Uh -huh. That's one thing I do have points about art and in my practice is that when you decide to make your own well. So any story, any interpretation is valid. And I want to hear it. Do you feel like society, particularly black people, are now becoming more receptive? Like, are we, are we really engaging art now? Like, are we enjoying it as much as we should? I feel so. We came out today on a Saturday and we made the effort to come see it. So the support is there. Support is there. Support is there. Support is there. Do you already have visions for your, ex for your next exhibition? In Joburg. I need to rest this away. Uh. I need to sleep it away. Drink it away, be intimate. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Sorry, can I just steal you for a second? Yes. How do you feel about uh, this exhibition? Um, this is such an exciting exhibition. I think it's such a nice crowd. You can tell that very good here and it's made it this work. Exactly. Cool and such beautiful people. Mm. What's your favorite piece so far? I like this one a lot. Yeah, why do you like it so much? Just the detail of the, you know, the polka dots uh -huh. and the seam and this, like the Sachi number here. <laughs> His abs. Such attention to detail. Well done. So 
Justin was my lecturer. Theme. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Uh, yeah, you must be very proud. I can see it in your face. You're you me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. I love it. It's yeah. such good work. Yeah. Really love it. Can you see the growth points? Like just like looking at that as previous work. Can you tell the difference? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, there's a lot more experimentation. I like the kind of um, injection of like furniture, mm. castle, kind of utility. I think there's like such a nice overlap between art and interior furniture and stuff happening across the world. Yeah, yeah, great. Thank you so much for your time. Bye. Congratulations again. <laughs> Okay, babies, how are you feeling? We're feeling amazing. It's a beautiful Saturday out, and you know, we've been in an, seen an, it an like exhibition. It has been seven years. Engagements and socializing. I just saw my baby. Yay! And yeah, it's just an amazing. I'm feeling warm and fuzzy. Are you yeah, feeling warm and fuzzy? fuzzy. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. And I'm in Malmatiba today. I'm in Malmatiba. <laughs> you look horrible. Why? You disappeared on me. You disappeared on us. What do you mean? What do you mean? No, you've been all around. We've been watching you. We've been watching you. We've been watching you. We've been watching you. <laughs> <laughs>